Hello one and all, it's Anton Savetin, and welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Royal. So, starting off uh, in a different place than I last left off, because I had to get back to where I wanted to end things off, but yeah, I couldn't really do that without a safe room, so I just traveled back here off screen, and on my way here, I fought a new enemy. I, I fought the uh, angel persona, and or shadow persona, however you want to look at them uh, in this game. It's like, it, it's a little weird that you fight the personas that you wind up getting. Um, but all the same, uh, when I fought the enemy, I wound up getting something new. Um, I think, I don't know if it was an accessory or something, but it, it was like for hiding and ambushing an enemy, what was it, like a hundred times? I, so it's like I got something new out of it. I don't know what it was though. Uh, if I can find it real quick here. I don't know if it's something I can flip or what. Um, maybe it was an item? Uh, it wasn't an alert castle. First bomb, that's not entirely new. I don't know what it was. It might have been something to equip. I think it was like a... a oh, wait. I think it might have been a ring. No? Because the... the I, don't, I don't know. Um, I'll have to look for it another time. I don't want to spend too much time trying to look for it. Something I just got, and have no and have no clue where it is. So, ooh! Hey. That shadow's bad oh news. my god! Oh! Oh! I gave my life for King Kamoshida and his princess. That was close. That was so flippin' close. Oh, that could have ended badly. Okay. So. I love how they come in just to get murdered. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, you're a strong enemy. Well, let's try this. I'll reveal your come here. form. Okay, I got you again. Okay, so hack. I got a pretty good rhythm down with you, uh, with. Uh, I don't have enough S. Dang it. Um. Come. Uh, let's see here. Let's try finding him with Zio. Nope. Dang it. Damn it. Ow. Uh, do I have... I don't think I do. Uh, dang it. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. This is it. Ow. Yeah. I got too reckless. Go back out and focus on support. Oh God. Ow. He's too strong. And I don't have enough SP. Uh, oh boy. Yeah. 
Only restores. There. Yeah. Give me. Come on. Ow! Ow! Jesus. Now it's just me. God dang it. Okay. It's time. Uh, uh. How much does Garo do again to him? I can't remember. Yeah, pretty decent. Ow! Uh, this is not gonna end well. Ow! I, I, I can't keep this up on my own. Uh. What's happening? Oh, thou hast fallen and lost thy life. Unbeknownst to thee, the name of the thief, thou hast lost thy wager and become but a cog of the strong. So thy rehabilitation endeth incomplete, and thy baseless indignity, I didn't get the rest so of that. So the game is over. Uh, sort of. <laughs> what a truly foolish end. I wouldn't exactly say it's foolish. Give me a break, man. I, would I like to resume play? Yes. The prior safe room. Yeah, I'm definitely. Uh. Whoop. Put me in the safe room that I shortcutted myself to because uh, I. Shortcutted myself to the safe room that was closest to where I needed to go, to where I pretty much last left off. So, I wonder if it will put me there. I have no idea. Return to the moment you entered the safe room. Okay. Yeah. Will it put me back where I think it did? Yes, it did. Peace building annex. Yeah, I... When I shortcutted... Yeah, uh, if you bring up the map, you can just go to your shortcuts here, and that was my most recent one, so... Let's be careful. We need to watch the enemy's movement. Yes, I know. I'm off to, uh... A swimmingly, um, off to a swimmingly bad start here. That's what I want to say. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through here real quick, get back to where I need to go. Oop! I do not want to ambush. What the heck? That was weird. Why did he just disappear? Whee! Okay, back up here. Whee! -hoo. That's fun. Little bit of a shortcut. Then. Hey, hey. We'll see it above us. Okay, so I, I have to scale the tower. Okay, so this may be a bit of a weird cut, but uh, I came back to the Velvet Room here uh, just to register my uh, personas. And uh, Caroline started talk talking to me uh, about challenge battles here. So, okay, Caroline, uh, what are these challenge battles you speak of? For these trials, we will permit the cognitions of your comrades to fight at your side. Let the cognitions of your comrades to fight at your sky. Do you mean my party members? I mean, that's what it sounds like. So the cognitions of my party members? I mean, so they're personas. 
We've been doing that. <laughs> Cry your tears of joy. Depending on your results in combat, you will receive some form of compensation for your efforts. Should you prove successful, there is no doubt that you will be rewarded and strengthened in body and mind. Okay. We've even prepared a special stage for you to undergo this part of your rehabilitation. Special stage. Okay. Take this opportunity to demonstrate the furthest reaches of the strength you've gained up to now. Should you wish to attempt this at once, we shall oblige you. Hmm. Interesting. Not sure if I en entirely get it. Maybe this tutorial will shed more light on it. Uh, you can access a challenge battle by speaking to the wardens in the Velvet Room. In a challenge battle, you fight foes with your current party and aim for a high score by dealing as much damage as possible. Possible. High score? Okay. You'll receive a reward from the wardens based on your score. After the battle, your HP and SP will be restored to their level. Of course it would. However, items consumed won't be returned. If you're defeated, the game won't end. Okay. Well, that sucks that items can't be returned. But, you know, that's that actually makes sense. If I use an item, it's gone. Regardless if it's, like, kind of a simulation or not. So... Twin Do you need something? Twin ward. <laughs> Do I need something? Um. That. Well, let's see here. Special. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that right now. Um, I don't need anything right now. You certainly seem composed. Welcome to my velvet room. What do you need today? Okay. Uh, register my persona. You handle this. This is what I want to do. Registration? Uh, yeah, register Are you sure? all. You wish for me to register all of the personas currently in your possession, correct? Go ahead, yeah. Oh, I... I don't? Oh. Huh, okay. And already? What? Yes. I'm I'm heading back now. I... I... Yeah, I am heading back. No slacking off! Go back and enjoy your break. <laughs> because of my weird cut, um... I decided to come back here to register my personas and then leave. Yes, I am leaving. I Let's do it. Uh, uh, not, that's not what I wanted. So I don't have much uh, restoring items, and we're all kind of hurting in health. And I'm very low on SP. Uh, Morgana doesn't have any, as you can see. So, yes, we are leaving. And we are going to come back maybe in a couple of more days before expulsion. So, yeah. Did you change your mind? Hmm? You want a retreat, Joker? Yes, I want to return to the real world. Now it. Oh, this is the Metaverse Navigator. Okay. Uh. Did it ever talk to me before? I don't remember it talking to me before. Um. 
now returning to the real world from Kamoshida's palace. Thank you for your hard work. Whee! Oh! Interesting. Infiltration log. Yeah, I, I, I got through a lot of the castle. So... <laughs> Uh, interesting that it has a log of all that. Infiltration log. When leaving a palace, you prog your progress will be shown in the infiltration log. Your teammates will also comment on how far you have left to go. Alright. Joker. It feels like we're fairly close to the treasure now. Yes, I think I think so too. It's like off screen as I was making my way back to the tower. I I was going through the uh, map screens, and from what I could tell, the 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 treasure is at the very top of the tower. If, if, if I was reading the maps correctly, that is. So yeah, I, I we should be very close. So next time we go in, we should be finishing off the place. I was really hoping that I could do it all in one shot, but I was so close. So, definitely next time when we come in, we'll be able to finish things off. There's no... Uh, there's no doubt we're nearing the end. Oh! We're finally closing in on the finale. The enemies have been getting stronger here, too. Uh, especially the ones who have that red uh, aura to them. It's like, they, they hit... Hard. They really do. Uh, they. Oh my god, that one that I bought just kept critting me. You know, and it's like that did not go well. And then when I uh, when I tried to get back there, I got ambushed and things didn't go well. It's I, I hardly had anything to heal myself with. So, yeah. We're finally closing on the finale. The enemies have been getting stronger here, too. We m might face some particularly dangerous ones next time. So let's prepare well before we come back. We will do that on. We will definitely do that. I'm glad the subway was repaired so quickly. It's just been one bizarre incident after another this year. Our country is going to hell! Are there any honest politicians out there? How can I... I have no idea who's talking. How can I have hope in a country like this? Hmm. <sighs> I'm pretty exhausted from going to the metaverse. I mean, we were there for a long time. We got th through most of it, it seems. Let's just take it easy here instead of going out. Yeah. And besides, I... I want to make a couple more lockpicks if I can. Because of a couple of treasure chests that I couldn't open. After exploring the metaverse. Exploring the metaverse will leave you drained. So it's best not to travel far afterwards. You can, however, spend time in LeBlanc and in your room. So plan accordingly. Okay, so I can 
spend time in Cafe LeBlanc uh, doing what I, uh, doing what I want or in my room. Okay. Ah, uh, you're back. Well then. I am back. Hi, Sojiro. That reminds me, the home shopping program is airing today. You want to check the, out the TV? The home shopping program, huh? Uh, I wonder if we'll see someone uh, f f familiar, at least someone familiar to me. Can I hang out with them? Mm -hmm. I'm not giving you any allowance. If you want money, get a job. Okay. Well, th I mean, he kind of offered me a job here in a way. So, doesn't that count? I guess it really doesn't. Okay. Morgana? You're going to get expelled if you don't steal Kamashita's heart. Make sure you don't forget that. I won't. Okay, so... I should write something. Before I do anything, I, w I feel like I should save first. Okay, so... Okay, so I can study... Read. Study or read? Um. Oh, there's there's the TV. Hi everyone, it's time to do some shopping. Here's what we've got for you today. Oh. Oh, so this is the shopping channel that everyone's been talking about. Using a home shopping program. Items bought through the home shopping pro program will be delivered to your door on a later date. The program airs on Sunday. And it is Sunday. There are th that. There may be some items that can only be obtained exclusively through this program. So be sure to tune in often. Okay. But it's only on Sunday. It's First, let me introduce you to the Spring Awake set. You'll never have to fear falling asleep again. Okay. It comes with one caffeine patch, ten wide eye drops, and ten hot and sour teas. What an incredible deal! But that's not all we've got. Here's our next set, the Share of Spring set. It's great for those who are concerned about their health and stamina. Uh, five sakura mochis and one spring fruit pack and one party in a can. All in one. Party in a can? What does that do? <laughs> I mean, it, it's a... Is that HP restoring item? Wow, they're both such great items. I can't decide which one to get. Uh, oh wait, that said female host, right? Oops. Yeah, female. Oops. <laughs> wow, they're both such great items. I can't decide which one to get. There we go. <laughs> All right, this is a limited item. Today's the one and only day it'll be available. And of course, the price is just right. Hey. <laughs> the price is right. You won't see this kind of deal ever again. Oh, the phones are already ringing off the hook. Only a few remaining. Now's your final chance to buy, buy, buy. <laughs> Just to say bye, bye, bye made me think of, uh, it, you know, the song. Hey, hey! Apparently, the phones are ringing non stop. If we buy one, then the other will 
probably be sold out before we can get it. Okay, so Spring Awake set for the Sheriff Spring set. Helps you stay awake. Great for your health and stamina. Hmm. Let's see, I have over 24,000 yen. The share of spring set is more expensive, but I feel like it's more useful than the wide awake set. I mean, all it does is help you stay awake. Great for your health and stamina. This one I feel will be more useful. So yeah, let's get that one. Oh, another buyer just called in. Thank you so much. Oh, they've both sold. They've both sold out. Oh, they've both sold out. That last customer was extraordinarily lucky. What are the odds? <laughs> well, no, not well. We'll try to get your order to you as quickly as possible. Goodbye for now. We'll see you again next time with another fabulous product. Goodbye for now. Well then. Now all we have to do is wait for it to arrive. Okay. And that, that how how much money does that leave me with? Uh over 18,000. Okay. Well, I hope I have the means to make a lock pick. Okay. Probably make two. Good luck. Okay. I do have the means to make one lock pick. I only have one tin clasp. I have 14 silk yarns, <laughs> but I don't have a bunch of uh, tin clasps. So I'll. Uh, I wonder how I can get more tin clasps other than, you know, fighting enemies. Yeah. So you want to make one of the lockpick? Yes, I do. Make it. Rank, 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 rank. <laughs> rank, 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 rank. <laughs> wow, what an efficient use of materials. You ended up with even more than I had expected. All right. Oh! I actually got two of them! Oh, is that because of my proficiency? I only had one tin class, so I couldn't make two of them that way. But it must have been because of my proficiency that I was able to get two of them. All right. Um. Something aroma. Uh, info. Tonic that calms an enemy's nerves, lowering a palace's security level. Interesting. It can lower the security level. Huh. Um. How useful is this, though? I feel like it's not super useful. Can someone answer me that? It's like, how useful is this? And smoke screen. Elude enemy pursuit by becoming temporarily undetectable. Ooh. Huh. I wish I had known that before. I need to look at what my stuff does. <laughs> and I know what go home, go home and do. They make you go home. <laughs> um, I mean, I do have a lot, so yeah, let's. Oh, can I not make more than one at a time? 
I'm gonna go ahead and make a Goho M as well. Yeah. So you wanna make one of the Goho M? Yeah. Just to be on the safe yes. side. You're definitely getting better. I can tell just by watching you. Yeah. Alright. Ah! My proficiency uh ranked up. Alright, I'm now I now have decent proficiency. Nice. Alright. Fumbling nice. to decent. I saw that! The way you use your hands, you did great. Yes, I, I guess I have the hands of a doctor. And I got an extra point up. Nice. Well then. Okay, let's go to bed. All right, Monday. Ah, we were able to grab a seat. Why don't you read something until we get there? Um, well, we have Pirate Legend and Tiding of the Heart read part way. Uh, I do need to build up my guts to be able to hang out with Itakami. So, um,. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Hmm? Pirates, pirates made a toast, drinking and reveling to yeah, reveling <laughs> to celebrate their victory. Wow! The pirate captain kid, huh? Ryuji should read this book. I believe she said this before. So you finished reading Pirate Legend. I love how Captain Kidd was the leader of a ragtag group of outlaws. I mean, what? I'm not too familiar with the uh, legend of Captain Kidd. I just really know the name. I don't really know too much of the actual the legend of the pirate of Captain Kid. I might want to read into that. You must have learned more about courage after reading Captain Kid's exciting adventures. <laughs> okay. There we go. Guts up. Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was an efficient use of your time. I'd say so. Besides, I'd been meaning to get my guts ranked up anyway. Hey, guess what? I'm thinking of going for a career on quiz shows. Can you make a career out of that? <laughs> I don't know how lucrative of a career that could be. I mean, is that a thing? A making a career out of uh, going on quiz shows? I could just imagine a conversation about someone's career and the being on the like receiving end of this kind of career choice being like no, I go on quiz shows for a living like what kind of response would one get if they tell that to someone I'm really curious actually if they were showing this movie called tank top millionaire at the theater on Central Street. Tank Top Millionaire? That's an interesting title. You mean the... Skeptical Girl, okay. You mean the one where a boy rises from rags to riches by winning on a quiz show? 
That was like a weird movie. Sheesh, you get way too into those stories. How about studying for exams before you think about fish shells? I mean... Fish shells are... kind of exactly that. They're basically like exams. Just... in a more visual kind of medium. Oof. <laughs> you caught me there. Oh. Sounds like that movie can change your worldview. Watching movies in the theater sounds like a special experience. Yes, it can be. Um. I. <laughs> Boy, it's been such a long time since I've actually seen a movie in the, th in the theater. I tend to wait until a movie comes out on Blu-ray. So, I, I don't go to the movies very often anymore. Um, at, well, and, you know, I, the, my, the movie theater here, we only have one movie theater. So it's like, just having the one theater is kind of like, eh. I mean, I remember growing up, there were multiple theaters in town. And now, as an adult, over time, most of the... most of the theaters that were here have closed down. Um, one was, like demolished a number of years back and the one that's still here is <sighs> hasn't been the best movie going experience it the theater did get a rebranding you know a new uh, it's the uh, what was it AMC I think it's the, uh, called the AMC Theater. Before it was Carmike. And, you know, Carmike... When it was Carmike... The movie-going experience there wasn't great. It may be better now. I have no idea. I haven't been to the theater since it was Carmike. But, yeah. Um... I, I can just go, like, on and on about movies. <laughs> it's like going to the movie theater or just talking about movies in general because I, I am... N not only am I a gamer, but I am also really big into movies. I have a, I have a large collection, physical collection. Not that I'm bragging or anything, <laughs> mind you, but... It, it's been a passion of mine since I was like a teenager. So I whoop. I can just go on and on. Yeah. I don't think I got that all that line read. Oh no I did. I did. Never mind. But it, anyway. <laughs> What kind of movies do you like? That does kind of make me wonder what kind of movies does Kaito like here? It's like if if Morgana was just asking me as Anton what movies I like, you know, I like pretty much any kind of movie. I'm not huge into westerns though. Um, especially like the old Western movies, you know, like with John Wayne. Not super into those. There's a few, there's a few modern, more modern Westerns that I'm more into that I really like. Um, you know, like, I really like 
like the movie Boomstone and um, and uh, The Missing. Uh, I, I really like those two. Um, and as far as other as far as other movies go, you know, pretty much pretty much any kind of movies. My, my most favorite genre is horror. The reason why I like horror so much is because of like this special makeup effects. So like like based on like a uh, kill or like makeup for a special character for a specific character. You know, like uh, Freddy Krueger. I I love the makeup that they came up with for Freddy Krueger. And you know, aside from horror, I do also really really like uh, time travel stories. So, like Back to the Future. You know, I love all three movies. I grew up watching more of the second one more than the first and the third one. So that's the one I'm most familiar with. And, you know, I've never seen the show, but I've been told that I would really like uh, Doctor Who. Then again, it's like Doctor Who has been around for decades. So many seasons. It's like, where would I want to start? You know? Since I like a... Ver, uh, quite a variety of movies. Uh, there are a few, uh, like, what would you call chick flicks that I have enjoyed, that I haven't actually enjoyed. Um, like, what? One that. I remember seeing when I was in college with uh, a friend of mine that I made during college, who was a girl. Uh, <laughs> we we wound up watching um, the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, and I'm like, this wasn't too bad of a movie. And I know the movie is based off of a book. I had never heard of the book before. Uh, and, you know, just the title alone kind of in intrigued me because I'm like, there's a sisterhood revolving around a pair of pants? What? So I was honestly kind of curious. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, um... I do also really like comedy. It's like, who doesn't like comedy? Really? <laughs> I literally could just list off every genre of movie and... But I won't do that. So, I, I like I said, I could spend so much time just talking about movies. <laughs> I do also like action. Um... Although there are some action movies where the action, I feel, does drag on a little too long. Uh, I felt that with the uh, very first uh, Transformers movie. It's like there was so much action all at once that there was har like hardly any break in the action. And it's like, just... It, it needs to with I feel like with action movies it needs to be uh, paced just right it's like you shouldn't have a huge chunk of action all at once it, it should be like broken up into uh, you know smaller portions and with the and with the very first Transformers movie, while I did enjoy the movie, 
I felt like the action towards the end of the movie was uh, too much all at once. That it needed to be broken up a little bit. That's my two cents about it. Anyway. Um, where, comedy or not telling. Um, oh boy. If one of the options was horror, I would definitely choose horror. Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, what, uh, what do I like more? Action or comedy? Uh, I do like a good comedy. I mean, wh one of. He'll always be my most favorite uh, comedian, Robin Williams. Uh, it's it, it still broke my heart to find out that he had, uh, you know, took his own life, and you know I knew before he did, I knew that he was uh, suffering from depression. You know, being a fan of Robin Williams, I I knew that before and that he was suffering from depression and you know, I was hoping he wouldn't be one of the ones to take his own life from it because of it but you know it, it I know this just got very serious but you know I, I just had to put that out there that you know Robin Williams will always be my number one favorite comedian. I mean, I even have a couple of his uh, stand-ups on DVD. And, you know, he... It just floors me how he can just keep going with his comedy at just such a rapid pace and not stop. Anyway, I'm gonna go with comedy. <sighs> Seriously? Well, that might actually suit you, surprisingly enough. <laughs> why does you? Oh, why? Why does she find that surprising? Hmm. When I, when I turn back into a human, how about you and I make our comedic duo debut on the silver screen? <laughs> <laughs> comedic. Duo debut? What? <laughs> um, I mean, we're n we're no uh, Abbott and Costello. That's one duo that I enjoy, and I introduced myself to Abbott and Costello. I, my parents didn't uh, introduce me to them to their movies. I introduced myself when I was a teenager. Well, as did I read all that? Yes, I did. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just slightly forgetful. Well, as much as I want to check out that movie they talked about, we've got to focus on Kamashita for now. Like, how much time did I spend talking about movies? <laughs> uh. Jeez. I was reading the essays you turned in the other day, and everyone's writing so sloppy. Uh, okay. I could care less indicates that you still have some cares left to give. It's I couldn't care less. Yeah. Like grammar is everything. That's another thing about that's another thing about me. Uh English classes growing up. I always did really well in English. I've seen this a I've seen that. Though sometimes I cannot talk. I've seen this a lot 
these days, where people are using a phrase differently from its real meaning. I mean, that's... that's very true. It's like, it, there's... It, things get misconstrued. And a lot of times things are heard wrong. I mean, uh, and, you know, with the example she get, gave here, I could care less versus I couldn't care less. That's a very common one to misconstrue and mishear. It reminds me of something I've been hearing politicians saying, my country, right or wrong. They wouldn't be saying it so stubbornly if they knew how it was originally used. I don't think I've heard this one. Answer this question. Alright, Hakamaki-san. Can you tell me how its meaning has changed? <laughs> huh? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, uh, I mean... Hey, wait! Hey, Lady An is obviously panicking. Be a good guy and help her out! Um, what is she even talking about? I don't know politics. It, same. <laughs> Crap. Hey, Kaito, can you give me a hint here? Well, what's that phrase originally meant to convey? My country, right or wrong? You unquestioningly support it, doubting your country, or you won't leave for any reason. Hmm. My country, right or wrong? I mean, it... Okay. So, seeing that I'm American, uh... You know, there's the whole thing with the American way. And this phrase, with my country, right or wrong, the only... Answer I see this working with is you unquestioningly support it. Right or wrong. You may not like what's happening in the world right now, but you still support the government and the politicians, the president, whoever. It's like, you support them, but at the same time, you're like... You... S still support the country. Whether... The... You know, president or certain politicians are doing the wrong things. You know? Then again, I'm not one for politics, so uh, I may get things a little muddled with trying to explain this, but that's how I'm reading this. Especially with America. Because you you support your country whether the government is doing the right thing or not. Oh, right. Like, it doesn't matter what they do. You'll always support it. Yeah. But the original meaning is different. I guess it'd be something like... Uh, you don't care about it, you can't change its path, or you have a duty to correct it. Hmm. Are well, there two answers with this? Okay, this could be a little tricky. Um, I mean... Uh, with the duty co to correct it, I feel like, you know, you could try and do that, but you, you have your own limitations on how you can support your country. I feel like everyone ha uh, w would have that issue have a l limits. Everyone has their limits. 
can't change its path? I mean, with... With politics, I mean, it... Like I said, it's such a great area for me. Uh, I feel... I feel like this is the right one. That you can't change its path. Huh. I don't know if that's it. Let's think about it again. What's that phrase originally meant to convey? My country, right or wrong? Uh... <laughs> Try it again. Try that one again. And... Country, right or wrong. And then... I guess this one could have some sense with the with the uh, phrase like you don't care about it. That could make some bit of sense, but I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it is you have a dude to correct it. I mean, let's try. This is it. Okay. You have a duty to correct it. Okay. That is correct. The phrase was originally meant to inspire you to take responsibility for keeping your country on the right path. Okay. To inspire you to take responsibility for keeping your country on the right path. But then again, like I said, everyone has their limits. Like, you can only do, as one individual, you can only do so much on your own. No way. The full quote is, my country, right or wrong, if right to be kept right, and if wrong to be set right. Hmm, okay. If right to be kept right, and if wrong to be set right. I feel like this is very topical right now. Um, both in-game and in the real world right now. So if you can see the original was more about talking personal responsibility for your country's future. Right, yeah. Yeah, uh... But like I said, everyone has their limits. Has their individual limits. Unfortunately, these days it's used more to justify blind support instead of actually fixing social issues. Right. And that, that can be a very big issue. Wow, I was so not ready for that. You saved me. Thanks a bunch. Nice going. And I got an affection point. Nice. Lady An seems really relieved. Oh. Point up. All right. My turn went up. Okay. You're pretty good at studying. I'm impressed. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> After school. <laughs> okay. Remember the deadline? You remember when the deadline is, right? We don't have much time. I know. We still don't have a route to the treasure. Wanna head to the palace today? Well, what do you mean? A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Sometimes I could just easily get my tongue tied. Well, what do you want to do? Should we meet up at the hideout and head into the palace? Uh... Decide later. Um... I may want to take a couple of days to just... 
get things squared away in the real world here, and I mean, maybe on maybe on the sixth day before expulsion, I just remembered. Uh, last time, Morgana had had told me about well, both Morgana and the game itself as a tutorial told me that I could look at tutorials like later on. Oh, where uh, is it under system? Yeah, tutorial. Here we go. So the, there is the game listed off ones that I could look at. One of them was ailments here. Ailments. Ailments are abnormal negative statuses, usually bearing drawbacks for a period of affliction. The ailments are as follows. Burn. Receive damage after acting. Freeze. Cannot act. Right? Shock. Same as freeze. Cannot act. And may electrocute others around you. Hmm. That's a little different. Okay. Dizzy. Accuracy greatly reduced. Okay. Forget. Cannot use skills. Right, from my persona. Uh, sleep. Cannot act, but HP and SP will slowly recover over time. Oh. Interesting. I wonder if I can use, like... Well, no. I can't. Can I? I was just thinking that maybe I could use Dormina on my party members? But I don't think he can. Uh, confuse. Take actions that will be dis disadvantageous to your party. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's like... <laughs> like... Attacking my party members, basically. Uh, fear. High chance of ignoring command. A flee from battle. Yeah, I'm, I'm very familiar with that one. Despair. Can that act? And SP decreases over time. Ooh. Eventually leads to death. Right. Rage. Increases attack but lowers defense. Can only use melee attacks. Brainwash. Attack allies and attack allies and buff or heal enemies. Okay. That one, that one's new. And hunger. Greatly lowers the, the power of all attacks. Uh, rush was another one. If you press uh, options during battle, your party will continually perform melee attacks. This is called rush mode. Battle proceeds faster during rush and you will not need to input actions. Rush can be canceled by pressing circle. Okay. And skill selection assistance. If you are able to attack an enemy's weakness, you can press R1 during battle to automatically move the cursor to that option. Huh. Okay. That's interesting. This should save you some time if you already know that enemy's weakness. That's very useful then. That will be one I will want to remember. Okay. Anyway, moving on. I almost forgot about looking at those. So, wanted to look at those real quick first. Oh, what? Uh. Wait. I'm gonna think of it. Return here whenever you wish. It shall be of your own accord. That's what he told me, but how can I do that? Uh... That was... Where is that, right? Yeah, right here. Hi! Hey, inmate! Hi! I was waiting. 
What's so this is another entry point to the velvet room. Okay. <laughs> Tentatively uh, walking forward. Ow! You didn't have to kick me! <laughs> so you've come. How does it feel slipping into the unusual from your usual life? The unusual to your usual life. I don't think I said that right the first time. Our master has arranged an access point to assist you in coming here directly from the real world. As per usual. <laughs> the door you just went through... The door you just went through is it? Be thankful, inmate. This too shall aid in your rehabilitation. Make good use of it. Okay. Uh, I don't need to do anything here right now. Um. Okay, return to reality. No slacking off. Go back and enjoy your break. And now, quick travel to the Valvera room. Okay. Good to know. Diner. Hey. They can completely pass by this. Uh, the curry boy. Revamped and reopening soon. Looks like they're opening up a family restaurant here. It says May. Let's come back again. Okay, so they don't open until May. And it's April right now, so... What, uh, they should be opening relatively soon. Right? I only assume so, anyway. <laughs> Alright, focus. Completely forgot to try this. In the real world. What's this yen sign here for? Um, military vending machine. Mm. It says, taste test. The Rations of the World, Volume 37. It costs 800 yen per try, but you want to give this a go? Huh. Uh... Will this pass time? I'll pass for right now. Feel like I need armor. <laughs> okay, I think I'm- I think I'm good. So I got... Kukri for Kaito. And, uh, Heat Whip for on. All right, which one? That, then the Heat Whip gives you low, uh, low chance of inflicting burn. That could be pretty useful, I feel. Okay. But, Come again. Thank you. I think we're pretty well outfitted there. So, let's see here. Getting a bunch of yen signs. I I wonder if there could be like hidden little like Easter eggs by using this in the real world. I have enough for the chakra choker and the breath ring. Life bonus, on a bonus. Uh -huh. Both a little pricey. This one I feel like it could be fairly useful. Life bonus. Let's go ahead and get that. I think I wanna give it give that to on because she's uh, she's gonna be my healer. So I feel like I need to give it to her. Let's go ahead and get this Viennese jelly. That'll be full. 100 HP? What are your thoughts? I don't know what to say to that. Are there any good ones? 
Oh, I have head turning charm. I can uh take the job at Reflesia now. Yeah, but <sighs> let's let's take that. Part time job at a flower shop, huh? Being around all those flowers might boost your kindness. It seems kind of tough, though. You sure you want to do it? Yeah, apply. Okay. Let's call them right now. Hi, this is Flower Shop Rifflesia. Would you like to order some flowers? Oh, you saw our ad? Thank you. We don't have enough staff, so we need the help. As for what days, we can work around your schedule. Just come straight to the store next time you're available. We're in the Sh Shibuya Underground Shopping Mall. I'll be waiting for you. I was just there too. You got the job. Nice going. Well, since I just got a new job, let's go back to the Underground Shopping Mall. Uh, which way was it? It was this way. And uh, we'll uh, go to work at Reflesia to end things for the day. Hi there. And now quick travel to the flower shop. There we go. Hmm. You applied to work part time. Ugh, sudden cough. <laughs> you applied to work part time at this flower shop, didn't you? Working at the flower shop. Working in the flower shop will cause time to pass, but in addition to receiving money, it will improve your kindness. From the time from time to time, you will receive an order for a specific bouquet. Okay. A specific bouquet. Try to craft it to your customer's wishes. If you succeed, you may receive more money or more of a boost to your kindness. Okay. The flowers smell nice. What are you going to do? Yeah, let, let's go ahead and work here. You may, be, uh, you may be able to work on your kindness if you work at a flower store. A little on the nose, I feel. Want to use this time to work? Uh, yeah. Let's do it. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Me uh, Megumi Hanasaki, the owner of this shop. Hello, Megumi. Meet you. It's in it's so interesting that we're getting like the names of the people that we're going to be working with. It's like we have a character, we get a character model, but not a character sprite of them. So it does make me wonder why they decided to give these characters names. I'll do everything myself today, so you can just observe me and try to learn the ropes. That sounds good. Good luck! Well, let's begin. Hey! <laughs> that apron suits you. <laughs> Are you laughing at me, Morgana? Where is she? Oh, there she is. <laughs> it's a... Uh, she's on the shelf there. She's still in my bag. Okay. Well, here's your pay for today. 3,200 yen. All right. All right. You did great. Good work, Kaito-kun. Come back again when you have the time. I will. How are you feeling? Nice job. You worked pretty hard today. Did I? <laughs> it's like, what did I even do? Still, I bet this job making gifts has boosted your kindness. Hmm. There we go. Wind up. Wanna head back? <laughs> All right, we should head home. Sounds good. Ah, 
your back. Hey! Hmm, about that stuff you've got. Well, the sooty armor, I mean. What about it, Morgana? There's a laundromat next to the bathhouse, right? If we've got spare time, maybe we could wash them. Hey. We could do that. Hey, a package came in for you. Can't imagine what you bought. Oh, did I get the um, stuff that I o ordered from the home shopping network already? Like usually that the usually that takes like a couple of days. Let's see what's inside. Hey! What did you get? Sakura mochi times five. Spring fruit pack times one. Party in again times one. Oh! Must be what you ordered off the TV. Yes, it is. Party in a can. Canned food to be eaten as a group. Restores 40 HP to all allies. Ooh. I'm glad I chose this uh, pack then. 40 HP to all allies. That's not bad. Uh, and then spring fruit pack. Filled with fruits. Restores 80 HP to all allies. Nice. And then Sakura Mochi restores... 10 SP to one ally. I'm glad I got this one too. And times five. So that that's 50 HP, not the SP, all around. All right, I'm definitely glad I got this uh, pack. Then, okay. Well, okay. So there, I could go to the laundromat. Oh. I can hang out with Sojiro. Uh, last time, let's see, he, he, what was he? He was, that's right, he was Hierophant. I don't have Hierophant on me. Hmm, okay. Well, I know this is uh, much shorter than my last couple of videos, but I'm actually going to stop it here for today. I know I haven't done too terribly much, but, you know, this is me just recouping after a uh, bad bout of how this video started off <laughs> with trying to continue on in the castle. So we, we may be good now to go back in. I think I'll I, I think I'll go back in on the sixth day before expulsion. So we'll spend one more day in the real world before heading back, but we'll do that next time. As per usual, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I hope you all have a wonderful day or night, wherever you may be.